What if I tell you that CRT simulation might be working right now using this program called Shader Glass to improve the motion clarity of 60 FPS gaming up to the maximum refresh rate of your display. This is the number one technology I've been looking forward this year. I cannot wait to use this on my 360 Hertz QD OLED monitor. It is absolutely amazing. We already tried it in RetroArch. So this program actually lets you use many of the RetroArch shaders and CRT effects. Now the thing is, I was gonna sleep already and someone drops a comment and tells me, hey, you have to check out this program, bro. It's saying that you can already use the CRT simulation. I've been testing it for like 20 minutes, but I have to go to sleep already. So I'm like, okay, let me drop a video and maybe I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, read the comments and someone already figured it out. Let me know, I'm gonna pin the comment of whoever figures this out and I cannot wait to try it. So let me show you, link in the description of the video, uh, the program, uh, again, it's called Shader Glass. You download the program from GitHub. Very simple, you just have to open it here. It's called Shader Glass. And it basically allows you to use a bunch of effects and it works for everything. So right now, I have the program uh, in a window, but I can just go full screen and see it the way it is, you know, the, the reason why I'm showing it like this is so you can see uh, the difference, no? Now, I am not interested at all in any of these CRT effects that will make the TV look worse. Mm -hmm. You know, basically, you know, have CRT <clears throat> defects. I am interested on the CRT motion clarity improvement with the shader. I have no interest whatsoever on all these effects. So the thing is, I cannot find the CRT shader by itself. It is combined with other effects and then I have to tweak all the values and it's not working right. So let me show you. If you go here, first you have this input and output setting, which we have to adjust because by default, at least for me, it is opening with some weird uh, a scaling. So I'm gonna try to fix it right now uh, and see if we can find, so right now for example FPS is set to to half, so I'm gonna set it to 100%. Um, then we have this pixel size. So this pixel size I'm gonna set it to 1 so it's not like weirdly zoom in or something like that. Then I'm gonna go to shader and I'm gonna go choose, choose the shader. Now here is where I have to find the CRT simulation. So when I go here to RetroArch library, so actually we have motion interpolation too from RetroArch available here, which might be also very useful. Uh, but trying to find the CRT simulation, the, the closest thing that I was able to find was here under presets, there is a CRT beam simulator uh, folder, but these are presets that are combining the CRT beam simulator with other effects, which I am not interested. Okay, I'm sorry. I just want to get the motion clarity. I don't care about all the, 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 the defects from the CRT era. It's like chromatic aberration, lens distortion. I am not interested in defects from camera lenses or defects from technology. I want the virtue, the, the, what makes those technologies great. So the, the problem is this, uh, this preset has a bunch of settings that I'm, I have to get rid of <laughs> to see the real thing. But as you can see, as soon as you click on it, everything changes. So it is working right now and we can close it and then come here to uh, parameters. So here inside the parameters, I see brightness versus clarity. So that tells me, yes, this is the setting that I see in RetroArch, 
when using the CRT uh, simulator. So the simulation. So this is this is it. This is the one. Uh, gamma 2.2 FPS uh, divisor, LCD anti retention. So those are the settings that I see in RetroArch. So this is it. This is the one. But for some reason, it is not working right. Of course, I have to fix a bunch of settings that I'm not interested in. And I've been trying, I've been working on it for like 20 minutes, but I have to go to sleep already. So tomorrow I'm going to work on this. Or if someone figures this out or, or finds where it is, next video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to get it working. Or if it's not working for some reason, then we're going to have to wait. Okay? But check this out Try to find it. Let me know. <laughs> okay, so we can make another video and finally get this working for every single game. This is going to work for everything because this goes over Windows entirely. Okay, so this is awesome. Now, again, bunch of settings that I have to, you know, go up and down. And I did. I, I tried to change all the settings and at the end, just leave the brightness and clarity. And it's not working. Even when I change this one, it's not working. The brightness of the window is supposed to change dramatically, and it is not. It is not changing. So that tells me this is not working for some reason. So I'm doing something wrong here. I need to figure this out, or we need to figure this out. Please help me, <laughs> so we can get this working. But this is it. This is the app. This is gonna be the one. It's gonna work for everything. So if you have a high refresh rate display, you can, once we figure this out in the near future, you're going to be able to use this CRT simulation, just turn it on and forget about it. Okay, just 60 FPS, you don't need anything else. So if you have a lower end gaming PC, you get 60 FPS and it looks like 240. So can you imagine that? You know, usually people buy 240 hertz plus displays if they have a very high end gaming PC because it doesn't make sense if you cannot get 240 frames per second it's like useless well yeah you do get always an improvement on the desktop experience but you cannot use it for gaming now with this oh, it makes sense it makes perfect sense like Jensen says to get a high refresh rate monitor even if you don't have a high end gaming PC let's say you have a a 3060 or 4060, it makes sense. You get a 240 hertz display, you only need 60 FPS, boom, CRT simulation, and your games look like 240, bro. This is absolutely insane. And I cannot wait to have this working, to see it on my 360 hertz QD OLED monitor. Oh my goodness, it looks so good, let me tell you. I already tried it in RetroArch, and I'm like, I cannot wait. Because also, a lot of people might not like the brightness loss. You have a slider here. It's not working for some reason, but with this slider, you just trade motion clarity for brightness. If you need a brighter, if you need a darker, you have a gamma uh, setting here that you can, you can use. Again, this is not even working right. I change it. I don't see the, the changes. Uh, and I do see the changes with other... With the rest of the parameters, I do see some changes. Uh, when I change, for example, let's go from here. Oh, this is clipping on the on the recording, so you're not gonna see well. But you see, for example, here you see I'm changing this, and you can see this all this, this gets all messed up. So this has an effect. So I don't have to close this or hit save or something like that. These settings have an effect, but I have to figure it out. Uh, and if it's not this one, I have, I have to figure it out, maybe try other ones, because we have, we have many. So here on the CRT beam simulator, we have this one, we have this one. So all of these have the CRT simulation with a bunch of other stuff that, that I don't care. So maybe this one was not working, but maybe I tried this one, and then I get rid of the garbage, and then it will work. Or maybe... Let me know if you can find the CRT simulation only without any, any of this noise. Why? So why would you do that? I understand some people like 
Yeah. You know, retro games, and they want the retro games to look messed up. Um, so it's closer to the creator's intent. I understand. I, I know where, where this is going, but I just want to use the CRT simulation by itself. I don't want to mix it up with anything else. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me know where can I find that. Uh, I cannot believe that the only option to get it working is to have to, you know, mess up with, with all this bunch of settings just to clean it up. But yeah, I cannot believe that would be the only option. So maybe I am missing where it is, but I don't have time. I have to go to sleep already. Okay. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. Definitely, please try this. Please. And if it's not working, let's try to reach out to the creators of these um, shader. If it's not working right for some reason, I don't know how to reach out to these um, shader glass uh, developers. They are saying here CRT monitor simulation, but maybe they mean all the, the rest of the effects. But it says includes RetroArch shader library. Covering all this. So maybe, maybe this will work once RetroArch adds the CRT simulation by default. Because right now you have to download the CRT simulation like a, like separately. Maybe, I don't know because I, I, I don't know about RetroArch. I've never used that for anything other than the, the CRT simulation. Yeah, maybe we need... We need RetroArch update, then this will get the update from there. I don't know. But this is it. I believe this is going to be the program. So thank you very much. I forgot. I mean, the user that told me this was like a new account with a weird name. I don't remember. But thank you very much. <laughs> you know who you are. So yeah, let's get this working. Let's get this working. And if it's not working, let's reach out to these developers, RetroArch, you know, whoever. Um... This is, this is amazing. This is what we need. We need the CRT simulation working globally. Like, bro, maybe you don't understand why I'm so excited about this. Look, think about it. 60 FPS, that's all you need. <laughs> Period. Okay. Of course, in the future with more settings, maybe it's going to be better. You know, 80 FPS, 90, 100, and then you go and you... You, know, you go from there to get all the, the motion clarity of your display. So, for example, I get a 500 hertz QD OLED this year. I'm looking forward to that. But who can get 500 frames per second on any game? Not even with a 5090. And the 9800X 3D, I can get 500 frames per second locked. <laughs> no drops on any game. That's not going to happen. But I can get 100. I can get 100 frames per second. So then I use this and I go from 100 frames per second to look like 500 FPS. Of course, it's not the same because it is not the same to lower the persistence than to get a higher frame rate. Higher frame rate, sample on hold. So brute force sample on hold is better because it improves all aspects of motion clarity and not only eye tracking. But eye tracking is the most important, in my opinion, because... When you are you know, moving the camera um, regularly like this, that's what you're going to see. It's going to look clear, basically. So this is fantastic for high-end PC gaming, but also for the low-end. Because if you can get 60, you can use high refresh rate displays, even if you can only get 60 FPS, because this is going to do the trick. This is better than BFI. So it flickers significantly less because the CRT simulation is trying to simulate the phosphorus decay. So it is not a hard you know picture to to perfect black. It is not hard. It's not a square wave. That's the that's the how you say it. So it, it's trying to simulate that phosphorus decay to reduce the flickering uh, perception. Of course, once you go very high uh, with a frame rate or with a with a refresh rate, you don't have to you don't have to do the the phosphorus decay um, dimming so you know, exaggerated. You can go and be more like 
perfor black directly. So it can be more of a square wave because it's not going to, to flicker as much. But especially for like 60 to 120 or something like that, this is amazing. It's so much better than BFI. BFI flickers and nobody likes it, but this flickers significantly less. That's the whole point of this. This is like an advanced BFI, a much more advanced BFI. So yeah, I cannot wait to try this. I think once we have this working for everything globally, it is a before and after. It is a before and after because you get a 500 hertz monitor and you can throw away your CRT. <laughs> I mean, of course, CRTs are still going to be better for some very specific um, cases. But when it comes to motion, that's it. <laughs> okay, that's it. Um, man, let me know if you get this working. I have to go to sleep. <laughs> but thank you very much uh, to whoever told me about this program. Uh, so I'll, I'll try to figure it out tomorrow or if it's not working, let's try to figure it out to the developers. It, it, we should get an update for this. This will eventually work. So the thing is, reshade cannot do it because reshade is attached to the frame rate. And if you get 60 FPS, then it cannot do like, you know, 240 or 360. There, there's reshade would need to evolve to support this. Lossless scaling also has a similar limitation so we we talk about with hybrid uh implementing this in lossless scaling and it is so far it's not possible and they tried it was it didn't work as well so it might happen in the future but so far it's not working a special k might get this working but nothing yet as far as i know so th i think this is the most promising uh program to get this working so please Please, whoever is the developer of this program, this is a number one priority. Please, number one, nothing is more important. Let's focus on that. You can advertise this program I and mean, you can sell it on Steam. I don't, I don't care. Okay, this, the value is off the chart. Please, make it official, make it happen, make it easy to understand, add all the settings. Focus on this. This, again, this is a game changer number one you know feature or technology that i've been looking for in this year and i thought it was going to happen a lot faster because retro arc implemented it immediately so i was like man next week we get this working on every single game but it was not like that but it will happen <laughs> definitely so let me know your thoughts and opinions if you get this working drop a comment i'm gonna pin your comments thank you very much and let me know if you have any questions Well, tomorrow, if I figure it out, or if we figure it out, I will make another video about it. And also we have the lossless scaling update. I'm also going to make a video about that. So let me know.